Cervical cancer is the fourth most common type of cancer. In 2018 alone, 570,000 women were diagnosed with cervical cancer and about 311,000 died from the disease. According to the American Cancer Society, there will be around 13,800 new diagnoses of cervical cancer and about 4,290 women of these estimated new diagnoses will die from cervical cancer. This is very unfortunate but very close to reality. Cervical cancer is caused by the human papilloma virus and is transmitted sexually. At least half of sexually active women will have the HPV but only a few of them develop cervical cancer. In this video, we will look at some of the early signs and symptoms that you should look out for and this can aid in early detection of the cancer before it progresses to dangerous fatal stages. 1. Bleeding and spotting. Bleeding especially unexplained bleeding could be a sign of cervical cancer. By unexplained bleeding, we mean bleeding during or after intercourse and in between periods. You could also experience heavier flow than normal during your period that could even last longer than usual. This could be a sign of nothing but if you are having these symptoms, you should go for yearly pap smears which can help you catch the cancer before it progresses. 2. Smelly discharge. When there is a low oxygen supply to the cancerous tumor, the cells may die off causing an infection in the tumor. The infection will have a foul-smelling discharge. This discharge will be persistent, watery, pale or brown because it may contain traces of blood. If you experience this type of discharge, you should visit your gynecologist immediately to rule out or for an early diagnosis. 3. Pelvic pain that just won't go away. Lower back pain and pelvic pain are symptoms of many reproductive organ problems including the cervix. However, doctors warn that persistent back pain is one of the signs of cervical cancer. If the pain is closer to your appendix that could mean that the cancer has already progressed to later stages and you should seek medical attention with immediate effect. 4. Pain during sexual intercourse. When the tumor has spread throughout the tissues of the cervix, you will experience very painful sex. This normally happens in advanced cervical cancer stages. Bleeding during sexual intercourse could be non-cancer related conditions such as an inflamed cervix, or vaginal infection but it doesn't hurt to get it checked out especially if the bleeding is consistent. 5. Unexplained weight loss and a loss of appetite. Unexplained weight loss and a loss of appetite is very common with many types of cancers and other diseases as well. This doesn't always translate to cancer especially if this is the only symptom you are experiencing. But when unexplained weight loss is experienced together with pelvic or back pain or vaginal bleeding, you should definitely be concerned and you should immediately visit your gynecologist for an examination. 6. Fatigue. Fatigue is common among cervical cancer cases. Fatigue by its own should not be used as a marker or cause for alarm whatsoever if it's the only symptom that you are experiencing. Fatigue is common among very many illnesses and just like unexplained weight loss, the only time this should be a cause of worry is if it is accompanied with other symptoms such as abnormal bleeding or back and pelvic pain. 7. Leg swelling or pain in the legs. This symptom may not appear until the disease is in its later stages. In the later stages of cervical cancer, the tumor may spread to the lymph nodes between the hip bones. This may cause a blockage stopping lymph fluid from draining away and this retention of fluid in the lymph nodes may lead to swelling in your legs known as lymphedema. Leg pain could also be caused by the cancer tumor pressing against the nerves in your pelvic wall. Some of the risk factors for cervical cancer include 1. HIV AIDS Because of a compromised immune system, women with HIV AIDS are five times more susceptible to cervical cancer. 2. HPV Cervical cancer is more prevalent in women who have had HPV. To date, there is no effective cure for HPV but there is a vaccine available for both boys and girls of ages 11 and 12 years to prevent them from developing cervical cancer and genital warts. 3. Herpes. Women who have genital herpes are at a higher risk of developing cervical cancer. 4. Smoking. According to studies, women who smoke are twice as likely to develop cervical cancer compared to those who don't. 5. Age. Cervical cancer is less prevalent in girls under the age of 20 but this doesn't necessarily mean it can't develop. The risk however goes up in women in their mid-30s. If you fall under any of these risk factors, it is important that you do yearly regular pap smears as this could help you catch the disease early enough. 
For more informative videos on health, nutrition and other educative videos, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to get notified each time we upload a new video.